Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. Today's challenge is to visualize the Bohr atomic model where there are some electrons that turn around a nucleo, something like this. As always, I use the only stuff that I implemented in the previous episode. Try yourself to complete the challenge and if you have some troubles, continue the video. Five, four, three, two. So I use my window class, if you want to use this code, go to the description of the previous episodes. We can create the new close by create a polygon with 40 vertices. And uh, let's see, okay, we have this pretty nucleus. now it's time for electrons. So I think it's good to create a function create electrons with n value and represent the number of electrons. To set the initial position of the electron in base of the total number of particles present, so I use a code similar to this one. I create an angle. I want an x and y position that starts from like 200 and 0 and then we must rotate by the angle value. x nu is equal x multiplied by math cos angle minus y multiplied by math sen angle and similar y nu is equal y multiplied by cos angle plus x multiply by cos angle. Then I must set the x to its new value and the same to the y. Then I want to create a circle that represents the electrons. So vertex equal create polygons, 14 because we want a circle and x and y. And we want a giant variable that group together all the vertices, all vertex plus equal vertex. And then return this giant variable. We must implement uh, some other parameters uh, into the definition like the number of electrons that for now is one the electron vertex that is equal create electrons we must append what we must append we want an array of these vertices one for each electrons so copy this line of code paste it and change some parameters really only this function that instead of a function become this but we don't want all the element of this array but only the element that correspond of one electron the electron is formed by 40 points every point has three coordinates so i think i want the element from 120 i to 120 i plus one and i want to draw it let's have a try perfect and if we have more electrons like 15 for example mm, something goes wrong this is a spiral because here i want the sen function not the cosine one now it's better but i think it can be even better if the electron become smaller and more distant from the nucleus for the distance i must increment this value here for example 500 and for the dimension i think i must change a bit this function introducing the ray value and here instead of the ray 100 change with the ray i really love this. Now I want to move them so I can uh, implement a move electron function. In input uh, there is uh, the n number of electrons and the vertices of the electrons colon. Then I want them to rotate by some angle. Then to rotate we can use uh, this line of code and then we can invert this part. Then I think we can implement time by move the mouse, rewrite the on mouse motion event, then self dot E vertex equals move electrons. How many electrons? Self and E number of electrons. And which electrons? The self E vertex one. The self E points become. And we can just copy this line of code. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Something goes wrong. I know why. Because here we want n multiplied by 14. Because each electron has 14 vertices. What? Electrons! Electrons! So the challenge is complete. I hope you like it. See you in next tutorial.